Hey, everybody. It's Ed. So, uh, I was at my parents yesterday, actually, and uh, my mother had called me and said, hey, dug some things up. Uh, I want you to come over and check them out. And what we call LRD, which is look, reminisce, dump, or, you know, see if it's something that I would want to uh, get and, or take. So, went over there and uh, a few of the things that I had obtained or found, I should say, were some Elvis albums that were mine from my childhood that for some reason, one reason or another, made uh, never made it over here from the initial record collection. Uh, they were separated. So I thought it would be fun to look through the three or four albums that I was able to find that I still have from my childhood to see not only what I had, but, well, you pretty much saw that from the thumbnail, but the condition of said albums. Because um, I would have to say that I, I probably had these albums when I was like five, six years old. Um, maybe one of them even earlier. Thing is, I can't remember what my first one was. Uh, I do remember one in particular uh, asking for, and we'll get into it. But I guess we'll, we'll, we'll start with this one only because it does not have a cover. And I did not show it on the thumbnail. Um, but this was my copy of Elvis's second record, simply titled Elvis. And I do remember playing this on my little green portable children's record player. And I also do re remember, um, you know, as a child, because this one I was even younger than, than five when I got this. Um, sometimes I, I thought it would be fun to put my record on my record player and then take a crayon. And then as the record was spinning, just let the crayon sit there and make designs on the record. So um, I believe that there are some of that <laughs> on here. I don't know if you can see it. But yeah, the, the condition of this record, unfortunately, is, is really just garbage. But it's always good for this. Good old Dynaflex uh, sound. All right. Next one I will show you is I... Here is my copy of Elvis as recorded at Madison Square Garden. And again, this one I probably had when I was about maybe four, maybe four or five. I'm not exactly sure when I got this one, but I do remember putting this one also on my record player. And it's close to, if not an original pressing. Uh, you can see the early sleeve. And although it is a Dynaflex, it's, it's, it feels like a, a heavier Dynaflex, not as thin as they usually are. Right, but here we have the label. I'm sure there's plenty of spindle wear on there. All right, but let, let's look at this vinyl. My goodness, hopefully, oh yeah, look at that. Oof, I, I think that might be crayon. I'm not exactly sure. Um, I don't really think you're gonna find food or, or anything like on the records, but you're definitely gonna find fingerprints and um, scratch marks and scuffs and all that good stuff. Let me see if there's anything else I can really point out on this one. Yeah, there's a really nice scratch there. Look at that. Oof. Uh, yeah. All right. So that's, that's that. So, um, yeah, playability at this point. Well, I got to be honest with you. I really have no reason to throw these on the turntable, <laughs> especially since I have more recent, better copies that would not ruin my stylus. So again, Elvis and then live at Madison Square Garden. All right, and then the two more I'm going to show you. But again, those you've already seen on the thumbnail. All right, and the next one is going to be pure gold. Yes, good old reprocessed crappy stereo. Now, this, this was always, uh, uh, they always had a lighter orange label for some reason. Slightly off, don't know why. Uh, this one actually, got to be honest with you, as far as the vinyl goes, not too bad i mean definitely nowhere near perfect but i don't think it's anywhere near as bad as as the other two that i showed and probably not as bad as the next one i'm going to show there's some marks up there and whatnot but again uh never really you know play this album now 
I guess I played it back then. Have to be honest, don't remember it too much, but I do, you know, remember it being on my little green portable record player, my little suitcase plastic record player from back in the 70s. All right, and then last but not least, I remember seeing this advertised on TV and asking my mom if I could get it, and she got it for me. It came in the mail, what, six to eight weeks later, which to a five-year-old was forever. So finally came, was very happy, and I do remember I played the hell out of these, these records uh, as a child. Still have the book that came with it. Now, the cover itself is kind of... You know, it was a flimsy cover to begin with, so it's it's kind of beat up. But again, I've had this since what 1975, 76. I this uh, I think this came out, so it was between six or seven years old when I got this. And believe me when I tell you, like I said, I I played the hell out of it. But this was a mail order record that was advertised on TV uh, with a commercial. Oh, look at that, the famous Ed Bonja photo. A lot of these are Ed Bonja photos, actually. But came with this book, which was, I believe, also available. Uh, another version, slightly different, that was uh, available that you could buy on tour around the same time. And it was uh, basically a lot of movie songs. So let's look at these records. Now, this came on the special products label, which was similar to a blue Camden label, but a little bit darker blue than what we're used to. Here's side C. Now, again, these records aren't meant, they're not terrible. Probably a nice little cleaning might, might do them some good, but again, at this point in the game, uh, yeah, I know these were well played and, and probably well worn, <laughs> especially with what they were played on at the time. All right, but here is record one, side A. And again, I don't think anything too bad is really showing up on these. Maybe some scratches here and there. I think you can see there in the circle. But yeah, there you have it. So these are the records that I still have from my childhood, which I couldn't believe they were still around. That I haven't come across them before. Um, but Wow. Unbelievable. So, yeah, at this point, um, I guess they'll just be retired to the uh, runoff section, if you will, of the collection. But I don't know. I thought it was pretty funny that I could find these. And especially the condition that they're in, you could see that they were well played at the time or just played with. <laughs> Probably, I think, uh, Frisbee a couple of times, maybe as a child. I, I don't know, man. But... You know, who knew? I, I don't know. I was I was I was young. It is what it is. All right, but um I appreciate you watching. If you would like, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. And until next time, be good to yourselves, be good to each other. Take care, everybody.